years. It's been really hard for me because I've lost my hearing um, really fast and every time the more it does, when I get used to my volume on my hearing, I have to change it. But it also feels like um, when somebody is saying something, they just say, ah, oh, never mind, and it frustrates me because I really want to know what, what they say. And um, it really bothers me when I can't hear what the teacher is saying during class because, like, she says something, and then I do something, but then I get the whole thing wrong, so I have to start all over again. And that upsets me a lot, too. How was surgery for you? Well, I hated the medicine, but um, it was hard, really hard to fall asleep. But when I realized I lost my tooth in the surgery when they took it out, um, I was like, "Why do I feel? Why do I feel so different?" <laughs> and I, then my mom what? said that. They pulled out my tooth, and I was like, is that a bruise? And then I said, wait, what bruise? And she said, oh, that's when, when they pulled out your tooth. And I said, they pulled out my tooth? <laughs> this is so surprising. I'm going to put it under my pillow. <laughs> which which tooth did they pull out? Um, This tooth. Yeah. You can hardly tell since I lost this tooth <laughs> a week ago. I know, a week before the surgery. So are you excited for Thursday? Yeah, yeah. What's happening Thursday? I'm getting my cochlear implant turned on. Yay! Hooray! Now people watching this, do, 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 subscribe. <laughs> nice. All right, do you have anything else to say? No. Bye. <laughs>